we all are here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So today, let's try to do this. Um, since both of y'all have knee issue, and Marina has uh, surgery done already in both knees, and uh, Rosie has knee issue on one side. Um, not only this exercise is good for people who has weaker knee, but also um, I hope that this mic is working. Uh, I have people actually who has um, diabetes. You need to be able to level your glucose, you know, all the time. Most of people actually who has diabetes, they they have a tendency to have a bigger belly, right? And they're a little bit obese. I mean, not obese, like a little overweight. So. Um, in order to have a level, in order to level with your glucose, the best way you can actually level with your glucose is to have a bigger thigh, meaning bigger muscle. Because the thigh, the quadricep, it's one of the biggest muscle in our body, really. The bigger the muscle you have, the more bigger the amount of the glucose basically can store in here so when your body needs you know it can also take a lot of you know the glucose out to use as the energy sources people like who have diabetes they're over exceeding those um, glucose floating in the uh, the blood and they're not really going into a proper organs and muscle Therefore, there's a flowing around, they're actually becoming orphan, and there's coming out through their urine. That's why, it, I mean, it, it's, in Korean, we, we, call, we call diabetes as sugar urine disease. Yeah, because the sugar is coming out. And you know what's funny? The, the diabetic body uh -huh. is a barrel body and very skinny legs. So it is. Yeah. People with, with diabetes usually have very thin thighs here and there. But the yeah, the thing is that all the all those nutrients, you know, when you eat, it's not going into, you know, your proper organs. And they have to, have to go into your body to absorb and you know digest it. But majority of the food that what they're eating is not really going into a proper you know, organs. It's just coming out. A lot of things coming out. That's why it's more like, more like, even though they eat well, they actually become more, more nutritious. Yeah, so which is bad. That's why they become more thinner and thinner and thinner. So, um, let's try to do, even though you have diabetic, diabetes already, um, also people actually who are just about to actually have, you know, have you're going into the diabetic you know, symptoms, let's try to work on something today um, share with everyone, uh, people actually who has a knee issue, how can we uh, strengthen our thigh? Yeah, how can we strengthen our thigh? This is not only to make your thigh bigger and stronger, uh, but also this will be able to stimulate your glute muscle and the core muscle so that it can support your back as well. So, uh, the before I actually go ahead and introduce our you know, exercise program today, I'm mean, actually routine. Um, the, what the quad does, when you stand, this quad actually will be able to make your body stand and still. And also when you jump, this actually, the quad muscle will be able to um, absorb the shock from the bottom to support your knee. If you don't have this, you would be oh, like, yeah. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. Also, as you're getting older, as you know, by the time that when you get 30, your muscles slowly decrease. Yes, they do. And then when you, by the time that when you get 65, more than 90% actually will be able to face with sarcopenia. Your muscle slowly disappear from your body. So it's a, it's a really must 
to do something, resistance, muscle resistance workout when you were in 30s and slowly just building it up to be able to have a better later in a life. So, Wait, it's not the opposite side. Huh? The opposite side. The fat degrees and the muscle degrees. <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. That would be ideal. That would be a good idea. <laughs> As you get older, you're fat. Yeah, the fat degrees and the muscle degrees. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be great. That would be great. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. But but body doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, body doesn't do that. So, um, you have, I mean, it's, I know that it's a little hard to be able to do workout, especially, I mean, it's hard. I mean, when you do workout, you have to constantly strain your muscle to be able to somewhat damage your muscle fibers. A little bit so that you know by the time that you know uh, when you finish your exercise you eat you provide a good carbohydrates and protein and you know carbs the vegetables and also um, the starchy vegetable to be able to give more energy and while you're sleeping those damaged muscle fiber will be able to recover you know also the protein that what you have during the day will be able to also synthesize at night time. So it's very important to, you know, eat proper nutrients as well. I mean, once you have a diabetes, you know, eat slowly and there's a simple rule. Try to eat protein first, really. Fat later, good fat, like, you know, avocados good, nuts good, extra virgin olive oil is good, you know, extra virgin coconut oil is good, just a little bit. One, maybe one or two tablespoons per day and the vegetables later and the storage carbohydrate at the end that's what the diabetes because I, I do see a lot of diabetic in the patients come here anyway so it's slowly really chew out try not to mix everything together when you mix everything together it's gonna digest boom, really quickly also a lot of people they do like drink like um, they put everything together that they uh, they make a juice and um, uh, smoothie. Yeah, I mean they're actually going to your bloodstream like so quickly. They have no time to stay here with your, you know, this your saliva to actually create more digestive, you know, um, yeah, enzyme. You don't. You, you're gonna pass that and just go uh, putting, uh, putting that food directly into your body. It's gonna actually shook up your, you know, insulin level really quick. Mm. Yeah, so that's why for me. I like to suggest, I like to recommend you guys to chew your food. I talk to this one to my husband and Rick Glenn all the time. Chew your food. Chew. Chew. Chew it. Don't just swallow it. Chew your food. Yeah, exactly. Chew. Chew. Chew, 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 chew. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, let's... Uh, trying to um, do something, all of us together. So, uh, um, so anybody actually who has knee issue, weaker knee, and also one uh, also who has diabetes and wants to create a little more strength on your thigh, trying to protect your knee. Um, I hope this exercise video will help you and help you guys as well. All right, so without further ado, Let's get started! <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Good? Did you have a good night's sleep? Yes. Yeah, did you all drink enough water? Yes. Yeah. Did you all have uh, breakfast this morning? Yes. Very good. What did you have? Quickly. Two boiled egg and a slice of toast? Bread. Toast. Yeah, so you had a really good uh, amount of protein and carbohydrate. Very nice. So it gives you enough um, energy through your body and the muscle. And what did you have? I just had a hard boiled egg. I was like, one, I can't one. eat that early. I have to eat after 11. Yeah. That, that's fine. But I also have actually, um, I had a two bowls egg with you know, one uh, egg white. And I have a little bit of oatmeal this morning. And it is very, even though it's just one, it's very important to have breakfast then dinner in order to level your insulin, even though you don't have a diabetes. It's very <laughs> important to have a breakfast in the morning. Because just like you know, to compare your body as a car, if you have a good spring oil in your car, then you can go a long way. If you don't have any fuel, we're gonna get your you know, fuel to actually go forward. 
Yeah. You have to push right behind those heavy cars. You have to push it. You have to think about what you are going to lose. Yeah. A lot of people, they want to lose weight so that they actually totally cut down like food to actually give their body absolutely the malnutrition state stages. And you're going to lose not only water weight, but also muscle, very important muscle. So you're not thinking about the number on the scale. You have to think about how well you feel, right? Okay, let's get started. All right, so let's try to lubricate our joint first. And what we're going to do, we're gonna start sitting. If your wrist okay, and you can put your hands right behind. Anybody who's watching this video, if you have a little weaker wrist, and you can put something, you can maybe uh, lean right behind the wall or maybe sofa, you can put your hands right up here and then you can totally do this as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to flex your feet, point your toe. It is very important as you get older, you're actually going to lose this dulcet flexions. Your, uh, the flexing on your ankle is very um, steep, so we have to do this really well. So, flexing your feet, Trying to bring your toes come close towards your knees as much as possible to be able to feel that your um, cat muscles also stretching and point your toe. Good. And we're gonna do a little faster and one, two, and point to trying to bring your toes pointing down to the bottom as much as possible. Therefore, you're really using your entire sole muscle and down and three and down. Very good, and down, and very nice, and down, and two, and down, one more time, and one, and down, we're going to alternate, right side and left, and two, down, and a three, and down, and a four, and down, and a five, and down, very good, and down, and six, and down, seven, and down, very good, Nine and ten and ten. We're gonna make a big circle. Open your legs just a little bit. Make a big circle and one, two, three, four. Make a big circle. Five. You'll be able to feel this muscles around this. And it's really working right now, right? Do you feel that? Nine and ten. Other side. Reverse and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. So let's try to do this. Can you all bend one leg like this? Is it possible? Is it okay? We're not actually overextending our knees. And what we're going to do, we're trying to sit a little bit tall as possible. Trying to put your sit bone rooted down to the bottom and line up with your spine, center your body. Now, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to stretch in your calf and your hamstring. So, take a deep breath in here. We're going to put your hands right in between two legs. And then we're slowly just walking down just a little bit. And put your head all the way down. Stay right there. If it's really tight, you don't have to force yourself. Go down there first. From here, take a deep breath in here. Deep. Exhale. Inhale, deep two. Exhale. You'll be able to feel that tight muscles really stretching. Inhale, deep three. Exhale. Inhale, one. Exhale, a little more down. Trying to bring the scap a little bit shorter. One more time. Exhale. Good job. And now slowly coming up, starting from your tailbone, sticking up your spine, one bone at a time, all the way, good job. Now, let's put your left hands right there, same hands with the, the stretch there. And now bring your hands all the way, come up and over and touch. And you'll be able to feel this muscle nicely stretch. And coming up, good job. We're gonna go down to the other side. And come all the way down, two, three, Now, let's try to bring your left hand right behind the back of your butt. 
bring your right hand right outside. You're gonna bring your body all the way over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come back. Very good. Now, we'll do one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I really want you to use toes as much as possible because I want your toes to be able to work as what they're supposed to work. Because this is not just an accessory. And when you're stepping on the ground, I want you to really put your heels, your balls, and those five toes really grounded on the floor when you walk. Okay, good. And other side. And now, we're gonna flex your feet first and I want you to feel the muscle that we're trying to stretch your calf and your hamstring. Now relax your feet and deep breath in here. And now slowly walk, walk, walk. Put your head all the way down. Once you arrive to the point where you feel like, okay, this is my maximum stretch, stay there. Try not to push. From here, take a deep breath in here, deep. Exhale. Right hands right behind the back of your butt and bring your left hands right outside of you and bring your body all the way away as far as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Now come back. Excellent. How you feel? Good. All right. So, um, I don't think that many of you <coughs> who are watching this actually have a full <coughs> roller at home. If you have a foam roller, I can totally use a foam roller, but you know, many of the people actually doesn't have a foam roller. So what we can do is just try to uh, use, this is kind of minimal stretching on your thigh. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your feet, parallel position, a little bit wider, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, also place your hands a little bit behind. Now let's bring both knees down to the right side. And you'll be able to also feel this uh, slightly on here, and also you'll be able to also feel your waistline is stretching at the same time, plus your chest and your bicep as well. And come up. And other side. This is actually okay, your knees okay, you're both uh, the marinas, your knees okay though. Okay. Two, three, four, five, and coming up. And one, two. Three, four, five, and last one, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good job. Now, let's try to do this. So, we're gonna slowly getting into uh, strengthening your uh, the thigh, okay? And what we're gonna do, both feet flex your feet, and now we're gonna, using our left side, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna slowly just bring it in right up here, as far as you can come up. And now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna stretch your leg. So, stretch your leg, bring it up. So, slightly lift, okay, so hover your feet a little bit. And one, and two. So, I really want you to lock your knee. Three, 
Do you feel your thigh muscles right here? Also, you be that also you be able to feel your hip flexors as well. Five, up, six, up. You'll be able to feel your inner thigh as well. Seven, you can feel that, you can feel that. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. You feel that? You feel right here? Yeah, it's burning. Okay, very good. Relax. Very nice. <coughs> Excellent. So we'll do the other side. So I'll just do this way. Right side leg, hover a little bit, bend three. Let's go. And lock. And two. And three. And four. And trying to really push your knee to the bottom, seven, and eight, and nine, and stay, two, three, four, five, okay, very nice, good, so we'll do one more set, all right, so I'll just do this way, so if anybody actually who um, are face and correct, you have a difficulty to Standing like this way, um, you can totally sit on the chair and do this. Yeah, you can totally sit on a chair and imagine that you sit on a chair like this, lift your leg and stretch, stretch. Okay, that's how you're gonna do it. Okay, let's do the other side. Lift, right, activate. Let's go. And one, and two, and three. Four and five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine. Straight your knees, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, relax. Did you feel that? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're actually talking in the <coughs> frontal quad. We'll do one more. Other side. Lift, prepare. Bend your knee, let's go. And stretch, and two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. Stop, two, three, four, focus. <clears throat> Good, so each time so when we do, we really have to focus on what muscle you're really working on. That's really nice. So basically, we dig down on the, uh, the front side. So let's try to work on the outside and inner, also back of your thigh, your hamstring too. Um, let's try to do this. So we're actually going to lie down to the side, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to lie down, all right? So let's see. Okay. So this one, we're all going to lie down on your mat. So we're going to lie down one side first, so we're actually using Fadi's technique from here. Uh, my leg is cut off, so I'm just gonna go just a little bit. Okay, the first, you have to wind up with your body, starting from elbow, your side of the body, pelvic, and your thigh. The wind up with your body first, then that's trying to bring the bottom leg about 45 degree angle. So I'm still cut off right here. Okay, and then the top legs, right on top of the bottom leg. So ankles to ankles together. Let's try to do this. Put your forehead right in front of your belly button to uh, avoid your body falling forward. Okay, right up here. So we're gonna pick up your top leg right on top of your pelvic height. What we're going to do, we're gonna slowly take a deep breath, inhale deep, and we're gonna bring your leg forward from here, what we're going to do, we're going to activate our lower abs first too. So one, two, and now maintain this level. Slowly bring it towards the back. When you do this, try not to lie. <laughs> so try not to go there. Activate your back, thigh, and the glute. And now slowly come front side. Two, two, and three, two, and and four, two, and five, two, and good job. How are you guys feeling? Six, and back, and seven, and back. Good job. 
Eight and back. Nine and back. And ten and good job. Now bring your legs down together. Bend your knee. Bring them close towards your chest. Now you're gonna slowly stretch them out and bring it towards the back. So pick it up and knee coming up and push. And knee up and push. Knee up and push. Knee coming up towards the chest and push. And three and push. Four and push. Five and push. Make sure that your feet always, it has to be flex this position. Push, good. Seven and push. Eight. I like the little glass. <laughs> and two. Push. One more time. And push. And coming back down. Good job now. We're going to bring up to the side way. One, two, up. And down. Good. Two, two, up. And Three, two, up, and down. Four, and down. Five, two, up, and down. Six, two, up, and down. Seven, and down. Eight, and good job. And a nine, and down. Very good, and ten. Coming up, down, down, down. One. Down, 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 two. Down, 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 three. Down, 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 four. Down, 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 five. Down, 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 six. Down, 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 seven. Three more down, up. Two more down, one more down, 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 up. Bring it down, stay right there, hold. Circle. One, two, three. Hang on, hang on tight, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Relax. Okay. Bend. Okay. Do this. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Good job, guys. Very good. Now, before we go into the under, so we're gonna bend your knee like this. Make sure that it's still like you know line up with your entire body. And your pelvic bone has to be pelvis to pelvis. Try not to go down forward, okay? Now, bend your knee, knees right up here. So now, what you're gonna do, I want you to just open your knees as far as you can go until you gonna feel like your nice little booty feels like, oh, I feel like I'm squeezing my muscle. So in order to do that, <clears throat> excuse me, let's try to put your ball right on top of your bottom feet. So, like this okay bring it down so open your knees and open down two do you feel that right here my back okay three four five six seven eight nine perfect ten do you feel that yeah, do you feel that? Okay, good. Excellent. So, let's try to bring this leg forward. If you want to, put your hands inside and put it right onto your mat, that's fine. If this is uncomfortable, you can totally put your legs right down here, either or. So, either you can do this or you can put your hands right under and wrap around your ankle and hold on. And bottom leg, it was on the front side and pick it up and bring it to the back. Okay, now we're gonna work on the inner thigh. All right, now we're gonna pick up your bottom leg. One, two, up, down. Two, two, up, point your toe, lock your knee, down. Four, two, up, down. Very good, five, and down. Six, two, up, down. Seven, up, down. Eight, up, two more. Coming up, one more, bring it down and up, down, 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 one, down, 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 two, 
down, down, down. Three, you'll be able to also feel your tummy, right? Do you feel that? Down, 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 four, down, 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 five. You're gonna feel your thigh is also burning too. Down, 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 up, three more, up, down, 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 two, one more coming up. Hang on time, bring it down, circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll do eight. Other side, two, three, hang on. You will do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Mm, oh, a nice stop. Ah, good job. Now, let's try to do this. Bring your legs to legs together. What we're going to do, the top leg, we're gonna bring it up, flex your feet. Now, we're gonna come down, front side. One, tap, tap, one, two. Up, back, 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 up. Two, Back, back, two, three, down, coming up, and up, back, down, up, four, tap, up, back, back, up, five, down, up, and up, back, back, up, and six, down, up, and up, back, keep going on, and seven, down, up, and back, back, up, and down, down, up, and back, back, Coming down a nine and up. One more time and a ten. Up and back, back. Good job. Bring it down. Now we're going to lie down on your tummy. Oops. I don't know if this mic is working or not, but okay. So this is what we're going to do. Everyone, we're going to put your hand palm up my palm. Put your forehead down. Now what we're going to do? We're going to put the right hand leg first. So straight your leg. You're gonna bring, pick up your right side leg coming up to target on your thigh and your glute. Okay, so now make sure that your pelvic bone pressing down to the mat, try not to lift. From here, we're gonna pick up and pump your leg and pump and pump and pump and pump and four, down, five, six, seven, eight, and a nine, and a ten, one more, one, and two. Each time we're gonna do 20, and a five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Switch your leg, left side coming up. And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, and a two, and a three, four, five, and a six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now let's try to do this. Open your leg wide from here. Open your leg wide, a little bit wider than your mat foot. From there, both legs pick it up, both legs pick it up. One, two, three, and down. Two, two, coming up, and down. Three, coming up, and down. Four, coming up, and down. Five, coming up, and down. Six, coming up, and down. Seven coming up and down. Eight coming up. Target your blue. Nine coming up. And one more time coming up. So you like the whole now. Let's clap in your leg from here. Clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more set. And two and three and four. Fire on your foot, and a seven, and an eight, and a nine, and ten. Bring it down, good job. Are your legs okay? Yeah, we're gonna have a little water break. Yeah, we're gonna have a water break. Okay, so hands right under. Coming up. <laughs> if you can do the top pose, you can do it, but if you don't, please don't do it. Okay, so, very nice. Okay guys, let's have a water break. <laughs> Okay, go in. If you can do this, totally do this. Oh. And give yourself a nice stretch on your back. And you want some water, Marina? No, really, thank you. Hi guys. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? How are you guys feeling? Yeah. How are you guys feeling right now? You feeling good? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do the other side. I'm gonna put my brass on. So 
So I'm gonna lie down to the other side. See? Lie down, prepare yourself. All right, line up, hit your body. The bottom leg, 45 degree angle. Right up here. All right, so now we're gonna pick up your leg, hip height. We're gonna slowly just bring it over, come close towards your body, and now slowly towards your back. And one, two, and exhale. We're slowly targeting this muscle. And exhale. And three, two, and back. And four, two, and back. Very good. Five, two, and back. And six, two, and back. And seven, two, and back. And eight, two, and back. And nine, two, and back. One more, two, and back. And now slowly bend your knee, coming all the way up here, and push one. Up and two. Up and three. Bend your knee and stretch. Bring your knees up five and a six. Stretch and <coughs> seven. And back and an eight. And back. Nine. One more time. And back. Bring it down. Very good. Now we're gonna come up. Bring it up. Up and down. And a two. Two and down. Three and a down. Four, very good. Five and a down. Six and a down. Seven and down. Eight and a down. Nine and one more time and ten. Bring it down. Coming up and down, down. One, down, down. Two. Down, down, three. You'll be able to feel your leg. Four, down, down, five. You guys okay? Yeah. Down, six, down, down, seven, down, down, up. Very good. Nine, down, down, ten. Bring it down. Good job. Now, are you guys okay? Okay, yeah. very nice. Now, we're gonna bring your leg and then we're gonna go down to the touch for one, two, up and back, back, up. We'll do the clamshell after this one. And back, back, up. Down, three, coming up and down, down, up and down, down, up and up, back, back. Coming five and up and back, touch. Coming six, down, up and back, back. Seven, coming up, bend it down, touch. And an eight, coming up and back. And a nine, coming up, and a back, back, up, and a ten. Coming up, bend down. Good job. Now, bend your knee and rest, and tap, tap, tap. Okay, now, we're gonna activate your little warm time. Now, try here. Bend nicely. Now I'm gonna first find out the angle that you'll be able to feel like right here, right here. This goes like, oh, I am feeling it. Yeah, do you guys have that angle right now? Mm -hmm. And bend your knee, let's go. And one, down, two, down, three, down, four. Release, contraction, and a down. And contraction, and a down. Contraction and release. Contraction and release. And a four. And down. And three. And down. Two. And down. One more. One. And down. Good job. This leg. Forward. Stretch. And bottom leg. Stretch to the back. If you can do this, it's totally fine. You can totally do that. Or you can hold your ankle around it and hold on to the end. The bottom leg, try not to bring it forward. You're gonna line up with your body. Now, bottom leg. Right here, let's go. 
One, two, up, down, and two, coming up, down, three, coming up, down, four, coming up, down, five, coming up, down, and six, coming up, down, seven, coming up, eight, coming up, and a nine, coming up, one more time, coming up, down, up, down, 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 one, down, 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 two, down, 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 three, down, 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 coming four, down, down, five, down, 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 squeeze, down, 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 seven, down, 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 eight, two more guys coming up, and one more time, up, bring it down, circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop, other side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ah, wee, good job guys, very nice, okay, now, we'll do, lie down on your tummy, so, uh, I just don't want to show your tummy, put your forehead down, we're gonna start with the left side leg, so we're gonna bring your left side leg, coming up, lock your knee, we're gonna pump your leg, let's go, and pump, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a nine, and one more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, coming up, and switch your leg, other side, and pump, and a two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more and a two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up and down. Good job. All right, jiggle, jiggle. Open your leg wide. So we're gonna targeting onto the glutes meaty. It's an outside glutes right up here. So put your forehead down. We're gonna bring both legs at the same time, coming up right there. And bring it. Coming two, coming up, and coming up, three, and coming four, and and a five, and coming up, and six, and and seven, and a ten, eight, like a knee, nine, and a one more time, ten. Stay right there, guys. Now we're gonna clap your leg. Bring your legs together, clap, open, clap, open, let's go, a little faster. Three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outside coming up, 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 and bring it down. Good job. <laughs> you did it, you did it. Okay, so hands under, good job, guys. Hands under. Coming up, stay right there. All right, now, just if you can, bring your butt. Now, bring your chest all the way down. Stay right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come back. Good job. 